Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So Twitch is in serious trouble. I know that phrase is overused and it's used every single time they come out with a new bad policy and people claim it's the end for Twitch, but Twitch is in serious trouble because over the past 24 hours, they have released several policy updates that have thousands of content creators extremely upset, including some big names who are now threatening to leave Twitch and move to alternative streaming platforms. Just when you thought Twitch's reputation had hit rock bottom over these past couple of months, it managed to fall right through the floor. So let's look at this first policy that had so many people talking. It says Twitch has new branded content guidelines. On-stream logos are limited to 3% of screen size. Burned in video ads are not allowed. Burned in display ads are not allowed. Burned in audio ads are not allowed. And they give some examples of what these look like in these images here and what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. Here's the thing, uh, pulling back the magician's curtain here, for streamers who focus primarily on Twitch as their main platform, the majority of their revenue does not come from subs, bits, and donos, it comes from sponsors, having sponsors for their streams and having them to promote whenever, right? We are very used to seeing this stuff, whether it's like brands like, you know, I'll use HelloFresh for example, they use basically all of these things that are now banned. So the 3% screen size of logos is obviously, it speaks for itself, it's just inconvenient. And the big one though is this right here, burned in video ads are not allowed. This is something that almost every sponsor requires you to do in a promoted stream, right? You've seen them before, like, like the HelloFresh example, they might have you play a two minute video promoting their product during your sponsored stream. Like that's the whole point, right? So banning this feature right here is a massive blow to streamers. Like the vast majority of sponsors will not be able to function as they do now with this change. And it has people really upset. And this is not just small streamers. This is a very common practice of sponsors for big streamers as well and a lot of them are reacting. So Asmongold and OTK are threatening to leave Twitch over this situation. I mean, it is essentially cutting a huge stream of revenue for them and they are essentially opting out to go to alternative streaming platforms like Kick, for example, and Twitch should be nervous. And let's just hear what Asmongold has to say because he sums this all up pretty well. There is no reason for Twitch to do this other than to monetize, monopolize, and take advantage of smaller streamers and keep in mind this is all streamers this is fucking somebody like me over and it's fucking over the 300 viewer handy that you watch for your own niche game at night this is fucking everybody over in a way that does not need to happen so yes i, I will move to another platform uh non-exclusively i will still stream on twitch occasionally uh, if this goes through, I will actively start pursuing a, uh, a deal. So it wasn't just Asmongold and OTK commenting on this. Charlie also made a tweet and an accompanying video about this situation. He's saying, it's actually impressive how Twitch manages to make the most dog shit changes imaginable. And in his video, he raises a good point that a lot of people don't think about. This essentially kills various leagues and esport divisions just overnight. This small change what seems like a small change has such a huge effect for example charlie has an esports league that runs on companies like opera gx who have burned in video ads to support those leagues without this ability to have burned in ads their whole division is just done like the whole financing is completely flipped upside down it's gone and it's a pretty scary thing. And this not only works for esports leagues, but also award shows and other big events like that. They're a lot more common than you think. But uh, it's not just the regular content creators, of course. There's VTubers weighing in as well. Silverville rep replying to that main tweet saying, when you thought Twitch couldn't get any worse, this makes zero sense. This is a huge change and a gigantic paradigm shift for how sponsors and events are done. It's like they're trying to push streamers to leave which, yeah, it literally seems like they're trying to create their own downfall. I can't imagine this level of greed and how they thought this would look because at the end of the day, this is all about Twitch getting everything, right? It's not good enough that they take 
50% of your sub revenue, they also want to start getting their hands in on your sponsors as well. They don't like the fact that people are going out, getting their own sponsors and making their own money through Twitch while of course making Twitch money just for being there and they just don't like it. They want to control who is getting sponsors and who isn't. And it's very obvious and content creators are just done with it. And uh, we have Bao with this very viral tweet here saying, since Twitch decided that taking half our income wasn't enough and wants to make our lives even more miserable, please remember to follow your favorite streams on YouTube and other platforms before this website finally kicks the bucket. And this whole comment, like I said, with Twitch being dead, right? It's been overused for many, many months or even years. Every single time something negative happens. But here, yeah, this is genuine concern about the stability of this platform. They have really shot themselves in the foot. And we'll see that Twitch comes out and does a epic backpedal on this whole thing. But one thing that will not be recovered no matter what is trust. They are violating creators' trust with things like this. Personally, I use Twitch for fun, primarily. If I wanted the biggest financial gain out of streaming, I would stream on YouTube because not only is it my biggest audience and platform, also there's a better ad revenue split. But I stream on Twitch because it's fun, it's a smaller audience, I can interact with the chat more. But I feel like a fool at this point streaming on there. It's like they've completely violated creators' trust and made a mockery of us and they, they won't stop with the greed. The 50-50 split isn't enough. They want to take your sponsors too. And here is probably the biggest winner in this situation. It is Kick. Kick has been the big winner in this situation because this has all just been free advertisement for them, right? Everyone is looking to Kick now. And orig originally when they first came out, I didn't really know if Kick was going to be a legitimate threat to Twitch, but it's becoming more and more of a reality every day. And I really didn't see this coming, but Twitch is doing their best job at promoting them by being a bad platform and screwing over content creators who want to go somewhere else and be treated better. And they're looking to kick. And when this nightmare didn't look like it could get any worse, Mr. Beast started weighing in. Imagine you messed up so bad, Mr. Beast is now weighing in on your policy changes. So he says, hey Twitch, how about instead of handicapping what creators make, you help them make more? Seems logical. And he would go on to say he would interact with the uh, Kick Streams account because he followed them, which is obviously a pretty big move. But he replied to their tweet, posting the follow back here, saying, might do a stream for fun just to protest Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is fumbling the bag so hard that Mr. Beast is going to possibly stream on your biggest competitor's platform just to protest you out of spite. That is a terrible look. And like I said, more free promotion for Kick. You even have Elon Musk replying to Mr. Beast down here and encouraging him to stream on Kick. It is absolutely unbelievable. But there's been a lot of things going on, a lot of people reacting to that set of news, including Streamlabs, which is the program I use to not only stream, but also record this video. They are making updates to improve their integration with Kick. Of course, this was announced hours after the whole fiasco with Twitch. So the timing is uh, quite intentional and it shows that Kick, it really is serious. This whole thing is serious and people are responding around them including also Stream Elements, which is uh, one of the biggest ways to get sponsors. It's actually, they work very closely with Twitch and they have to now update all of their, uh, the way they run ads to make sure that creators can get paid. So at least if you work through Stream Elements, you should be safe with everything. So I know a lot of smaller streamers in particular use Stream Elements. So you will be fine if you keep running through them. They're going to update their process to work under these new guidelines but the fact that they have to do that at all is crazy but i told you guys already there would be an epic backpedal and here it is twitch released this whole light novel excusing everything that happened and basically saying uh whoa big misunderstanding everyone put down the pitchforks we didn't actually mean these things when they certainly did and they're now just backpedaling because they're seeing all the backlash but look look at some of this language they use Today's branded content policy update was overly broad. This created confusion and frustration. We apologize for that. Overly broad. 
they literally gave a specific percent number of how big your logos can be. They said 3%. How is that overly broad? They knew exactly what they were saying. And the backpedaling continues all the way down. I mean, they're saying that basically they don't want to limit streamers' abilities to enter direct relationships with sponsors while doing exactly that. And they want to clarify that their existing ads policy that was intended to prohibit third parties and networks from selling burned in video and display ads on Twitch. They're basically trying to say that this is for like bad, you know, bad actors, right? But that is not how they languaged everything else. And they made this seem like it was a broad and open thing. And likely it was. And because of the backlash, they're just trying to save face right now and do whatever they can to keep people from fleeing their platform. But just when you thought things couldn't get worse, they also announced within this last 24 hours that they are banning the, the ability to simulcast, which for those who don't know, that's when you stream on multiple platforms at the same time. So like if I was streaming on YouTube, I would also have it streaming on Twitch as well. That is a very common tactic and one that people sometimes do just for availability. They don't even use it to make revenue. And that point was raised by Ninja. They're basically forcing my hand I'm not partnered on Twitch. I don't make money there. I, I, I make zero dollars on Twitch. So they then put a rule in that says I can't stream. I can't stream. I can't simulcast. What am I going to choose? What am I going to choose? Am I going to choose streaming to YouTube, TikTok, Kick, other plat Facebook all at the same time? Am I going to choose streaming all to, to there? Or am I going to just only stream... To Twitch and make no money. Like zero. What the? F Who would like? That's an e it's a it's, it's a no brainer. So just when you thought the greed couldn't get any worse, people are bringing up this policy. Now this isn't something new, but it is something that a lot of people have overlooked. So if you're an affiliate on Twitch, which most streamers are affiliates, it's pretty easy to get. You have to sign a contract with them and one of the stipulations in the contract says that if you break this contract by going off and streaming with another platform, they can charge you $25. They are literally charging you to leave. I understand they're breaking a contract to go stream somewhere else, but this level of petty is just, it's so Twitch, right? It's so Twitch and not missing any opportunity to promote themselves, Kick is saying that they will pay that $25 fee. They will cover that fee if you break your contract with Twitch and move over to Kick. Yeah, this has been a disastrous 24 hours for Twitch. Terrible policies, embarrassing backpedaling, and it really is looking like big trouble ahead for Twitch and a lot, basically they're speed running the success of their competitors like Kick, for example, who is looking more and more dangerous for Twitch as every day passes and Twitch has no one to blame but themselves because they're the ones making these terrible policies. They're the ones treating their creators like crap and yeah, it falls on them. But that's gonna do it for this video. Please share all of your thoughts about today's topic in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.